gorgeous individuals, it's Kav here and today I have a very, very special video to film. March 16th is a very momentous day for us book lovers here in the US because it is the day that Love, Simon, the movie based on Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda by Becky Albertalli comes out. This movie comes out on different dates around this world but for us here it is out on March 16th and I have been anticipating this movie for so so long because Becky Albertalli is one of the most talented authors out there and Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda is one of the best novels out there. With that said, I have titled this video Love Cove because it is essentially a letter from me to Becky herself about how brilliant she is and how amazing she is as an author, as a woman, and of course I will be focused primarily on Simon, but I will also be delving a little bit outside of that to talk to Becky directly and how she as an author is so wonderful. So warning, this video is going to be very sappy, but I hope you all can stick with me and this is just a celebration of the amazing woman that Becky is. So without further ado, let's get started. Dear Becky, when I joined the book community, I was a 14 year old noob with no idea what I was doing. Now I am a 16 year old experienced booktuber, still with no idea of what I'm doing, but a few months into my journey in the book community, I joined what I call the diverse book community for lack of a better title. And as soon as I joined that part of the book community, a book that was promoted to me so often was Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda. So January of 2017, I ordered Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda and little did I know how much of a phenomenon that book would be. It's hard for me to believe that I just read Simon a year ago because it feels like that's been a book that's been part of my life for years and that has been a part of my story for years but it's only been there for a little over a year now and that baffles me that it's only been a part of my life for a year now and that you've only been a part of my life for a year now because you are one of the authors that has made the biggest impact on me. We are blessed in the book community to know so many different people involved in the making of a book. We know booktubers, publishers, agents, authors, and people in between and on the outskirts of all those titles. But I have said this before and I will say it again. You are one of the most genuinely kind authors I have ever had the honor of interacting with. You take the time to interact with your readers, to care about your readers, to see the person behind the Twitter account, and I appreciate that from the bottom of my heart. I remember before I had read Simon not understanding the hype about it, not understanding why this random young adult contemporary was taking the world by storm, but as soon as I read it, I knew. I knew why it was so important to so many people out there. You didn't have to write the book that you did. You had the privilege of choosing to write a million different stories, but instead you chose to write one about a gay teen. And that is phenomenal. That is a phenomenon in itself because being queer is still not normal and Simon is normalizing that for so many and he is giving so many people the representation they never got. But Simon is not the character of yours that I most relate to. That character for me is Leah. I grew up fat and for years I couldn't even say that. I couldn't even say that I was fat. but. Leah, despite the fact that she had her own securities about her weight, made me feel strong for my experiences. She made me feel like I didn't have to be ashamed of the fact that I grew up that way. And more so, there are so many aspects of her that relate to me. She is sassy, she is sarcastic, she is snarky, but under that all she still has parts of her that are scared, that are fearful of what society will think of her, of what the world will think of her, especially because she's bisexual. And I'm also bi. I'm biromantic. And I have the privilege to be comfortable in my sexuality, but that doesn't mean I always am. And that doesn't mean that it's easy. And even though Leah has a gay best friend, she is still scared to come out. And we don't get to see narratives like that often. We don't get to see narratives of someone who knows she will be accepted, but who still 
is fearful of it because it's scary even if you know that there's a 99.9% .9 chance that you will be accepted, it's still scary. And she normalizes that. And that's why I'm so excited to read her story because I know it'll be very similar to mine. And then we have Upside. I still remember the day I got Upside. I was going out with my best friend and we went to a bookstore and we went there because I wanted to find Upside. We also went there because it was a bookstore and I can't resist bookstores. But primarily we went there to find Upside. He himself isn't a reader, but he loves Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda, which is huge because he doesn't read, like, ever. But because of that, he understood why I wanted Upside so badly. So we went to the bookstore and we managed to pick up the last copy. The reaction to me getting the last copy is still in my vlog where I essentially whisper scream because I was so excited about getting my hands on it. Though I loved Simon with all my heart, Upside, in some weird turn of events, managed to beat it. Upside is the epitome of a cute contemporary young adult novel that incorporates diversity so realistically and so casually and that's what I love about it or it's one of the things I love about it because there are a countless number of things that I love about Upside. Molly's character was also relatable to me because as I said I grew up fat and I grew up feeling insecure about my weight and Molly was too because she was fat. That's an important narrative that often gets stifled in so many conversations but the narrative of weight is an important one because it affects so many kids and teens growing up in society but you write it and I don't know from your end whether or not you are nervous to write that narrative but the fact is you still do regardless of how you feel on your end. You still write that narrative and you still put it out in the world for kids to read and for kids to relate to and resonate with. That's incredible. And because of that, because of how I could see myself in Molly, it managed to surpass Simon but I can't even pit those two books against one another because they are both revolutionary in their own way. They are both brilliant in their own regard and I know that when Leah comes out it will be the same for me but I also know that as much as I love these two that is going to be my favorite because that's the one starring the character of yours who meant the world to me, who was one of my favorite literary characters of all time and who is me. Sometimes I can't believe that I get to live in a time that is so revolutionary in so many ways and part of the reason I am able to do that is because of authors like you who write revolutionary stories, who create worldwide phenomenons, who whether or not they were afraid still conquered the world. I'm not a gay teen and I am not a fat Jewish teen either but I am a teen I am a teen who wants to see myself in books and I am a marginalized teen who wants to see myself in books. Authors like you are the ones who inspire me to believe that I can write my own story and believe that my story deserves to be heard. And authors like you are the ones who make me proud to be a part of the book community and make me proud to be a reader. One author that I will never lose confidence in is you because you are genuinely kind, you are talented, you are revolutionary and it is an honor to live in the same time as you and to see you grow and become even more of a phenomenon than you are now. Congratulations to you and to Simon for all of the success and I can't wait to be a part of the rest of the success. So that was all for this video. I'm going to end it before I start crying because I'm on the verge of crying right now. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe because that stuff makes me happy. And comment down below whether or not you are going to go be seeing Love, Simon when it comes out because I know I am probably more than once. And as usual, all of my social media and my good news will be in the description below if you'd like to follow me anywhere else. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you're having a lovely day or night wherever you are. Please remember you're beautiful and you deserve the world and I will see you soon for a brand new video. Goodbye.